we're excited. We're excited to be able to do that. We're excited for what we've accomplished, but we're especially excited for what we can bring in the future. It is quite moving, and all of our employees are taking such such pride and gratitude in it, and and, and it's just a um, an extraordinary uh, binding experience. It's been a wonderful journey to be able to share the um, our vision and our products, uh, our purpose, not only in the United States but now in 21 countries. And by the end uh, of the year. Uh, we look to have that doubled. Well, there's a, I think, a lot of misinformation out among the public. They think that uh, when we talk about trade, uh, it's only big companies like uh, Intel and IBM and Ford Motor Company. Uh, the reality is that companies like the one we're celebrating today uh, only have 35 employees. This, this trade is incredibly important for mom and pop companies. We've become so interdependent with not just uh, uh, some of our current trading partners, but future trading partners, and it's just, it, it, it is important to our entire way of life. So what you have to do to receive the award is you have to show growth uh, in exporting over four years. And uh, we currently export to nearly 20 countries. When we submit the application, it was about 15. Uh, we uh, export, of course, Canada and Mexico, but different parts of Central America, Korea, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Europe. We have opportunities to continue to grow through Asia and uh, we export to, to parts of Africa. Good morning. I'm Carol May, President of Wisdom Natural Brands. It is such an honor to have all of you here today. This is a very exciting time for us and we're, we're so pleased to be able to share it with you. These are our employees who have worked very hard uh, to accomplish uh, this, this opportunity for us. And uh, we're so grateful to each of them and for each, each contribution that they make. Today we're grateful to have our mayor, John Lewis uh, of Gilbert, and certainly um, Matt Salmon, our congressman, uh, whom we've known for a very long time and uh, respected every moment of that time. We're grateful for the representatives from the governor's office and from the offices of Senators Flake and McCain who are in, in session right now and cannot be here. I want to have uh, the opportunity to introduce you to Anna Flatten, who is from the U.S. Commercial Service and who has been a partner with us in our journey in spreading um, our vision uh, and, and our health products throughout the world. So thank you so much, Anna, for coming uh, and being a part of, of this journey uh, to this point and leading us forward. So thank you. Wisdom Natural Brands has exported to Australia, Canada, Denmark, Mexico, Norway, Philippines, Uganda, the UK, and developed distributor relationships in Costa Rica, Nigeria, Ghana, and South Korea. And I'm probably missing a few countries. Um, they also sell um, their ingredients in bulk sales to Mexico, the United Kingdom, and Macedonia. I also want to take an opportunity to thank everyone here for sharing this moment with us. We're very grateful for, for all of you. We recognize that 95% of the world's consumers remain outside of the United States. We also recognize that as a company committed to natural and health promoting products, that we have a responsibility and the great opportunity to continue to grow our businesses through exporting and through our international partnerships. Our Wisdom Natural Brands Group, I echo what Carol was saying. This is, a, this is a day where we also recognize the father of Stevia, who's not able to be with us. And James is one of those individuals that is, from a community perspective, you look to try and emulate leaders.
And James is one of those individuals that many years ago when he saw a product, he had an idea. And there is that term, build a better mousetrap, which I love entrepreneurs who are able to do that. But in this case, it was not a product, uh, a line that had even been invented. And he had his vision and inspiration and perseverance to do something about it. And, and he has received international recognitions. In Paraguay, he's a well-known name. That Father Stevi, I don't know how to say it in Spanish, but uh, well-known name. And so internationally, he has done some amazing things. The other stereotype I think that really bothers me is that trade is just something for the big, large corporations. We well, can see here today, what do we have, 35 employees here? I don't think you're a big, large corporation. I think you're a family-owned business that has come up with an incredibly great idea that's actually gonna benefit humanity by providing a healthy sweetener. Chevy is a great product. And you're going to now export that and create more jobs for Arizonans. It's about mom and pop businesses.